Why use Intuitive for Papercut MF instead of the standard Papercut MF report? In this short video, we're going to have a look at the reporting process in Papercut MF and then show you how quick and easy it is to access this information using the Intuitive for Papercut dashboards. First, let's open Papercut MF and go into the report section which can be found in the tabs on the left-hand side of the screen. We need to start by clicking into the group section, which is highlighted. We run a report in Papercut by clicking on the group print summary PDF, then open this PDF to look at which group of people is printing the most. In this report, we can easily see that students are the group who are the heaviest users of print. However, if we want to analyse by user level, this is where it becomes more difficult in Papercut's reports to view this information quickly. We will need to click into the Group Printing User Summary PDF. And as you can see from the user report, there are 45 pages of information for us to scroll through. Next, let's look at the Group Printing User Logs PDF. This document shows each print job by each user and the cost of each one. But as you can see, there are 666 pages of information in this document. This is going to be an issue, as it makes it very difficult to navigate due to the sheer volume of information in the report. This would need to be exported to Excel and then manually processed by an employee, which takes time and resources. So, let's look now at how we would get the same information using the Intuitive for Papercut dashboards. Firstly, we select the Cost Dashboard on the menu on the left-hand side of the screen. Here, you can see that Intuitive has automatically calculated the average cost per user. And the Department component shows the information that we looked at in the first Papercut report. From here, we can simply drill down into the different levels, such as total pages, to see more detailed information. Let's explore the R&D department in more detail and drill down and look at cost per user. We may want to look at the last three months of printing. So let's go over to the filter on the right of the screen and select the month drop down, select the last three months and then apply the filter. We can now see that Marvin Greenwood has high usage in terms of cost over this time period in the R&D department. We then simply click into Marvin Greenwood's profile. Here, we can see all of Marvin's print, and by clicking on the header at the top, we can reorganise the data in our preferred way. In the papercut reports that we viewed at first, we would have to have found Marvin's print job within 666 pages of user data. As you can see, the intuitive dashboards are quick and efficient. In three clicks, we can drill from a company level to a specific user, and then look at their print jobs. Thanks for watching. And if you have any questions, please contact us at this web address or alternatively speak to your account manager.